The galaxy is vast and shapeless, and somewhere in it, internet connections are trying to be made on a tiny blue planet. Have the internet connections work? Nobody knows. Are any frames being dropped into the endless void of the universe? Again? Hey, Jack, can I get screen share? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just set that up for you. I was just, uh, I was just, um, I was what? being, uh, uh, astrophysicist Brian Cox. Um, okay, now you can, you can keep, that's, you, wanna, you can keep doing. Do you want me to just, you want yeah. to start that? Mm -hmm. Should I go okay. from the beginning? Uh, let me just get you, sorry, yeah, is that, yeah. is, that, is that working for you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Okay. Let's so, just dial that back and then ready? Yeah, yeah, Let's, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Marco, the universe is, uh, my name is Jack DeKey. Did you say Marco? Did you say <laughs> Marco? <laughs> yeah, I was hoping so. Polo. Distantly. Oh! Alien contact <laughs> from across well the Atlantic. It's not very far. Um, it's not that. I mean, that's it's still far. It is pretty. It is. It is a pretty pretty long distance. Um, and uh, I'm I'm communicating with you on the publicest Wi-Fi of the publicest Wi-Fi, uh, which is frankly pretty impressive. My name is Jack DeKeith, broadcasting live for the first time from. Uh, a university dorm room in the United Kingdom, successfully. Um, who am I joined by? I'm Austin Walker. You can find me at Austin underscore Walker on Twitter. Oh, I'm also on Twitter um, at Not Quite Real. Uh, and today we are. I am very excited to be playing a a preview build um, of a game called. Uh, I just I, I want to make absolutely sure that I get the title right. It's called Elegy for a Dead World um, by Dejaban Games. That's correct. Um, that's because I was reading it. <laughs> <laughs> um, that would do it. That would make sure it was right. It's true. Uh, and it's a game that's currently on Kickstarter. It's got about three days left in the Kickstarter campaign. Um, it, I think yep. earlier today... I'll link the, the mm -hmm. Kickstarter right now. Earlier today, it made its 100%... Um, which I'm really, I'm really glad to see, because because this game has a has a really interesting central conceit, which is basically like, uh, you, you move through uh, a world and, and you actually describe it. You create the stories within this world through through writing. So I thought it might be fun to take a look at, at, at one or two of the planets um, and see see what we can see what we can make of this. Um, we're playing this just for disclosure's sake. We're playing this with a preview code supplied by Digibine, um, which is very kind of them. The game kind of just like straight kicks off. There is a menu screen. It does. You, it, should, are, you should have you switched to. Mm -hmm. Okay, my I'm my not, is back. So I'm not that out of practice. <laughs> okay. It's a uh, yeah. There was a, there was a title screen, but uh, it's gone now. So we're just this sort of lonely astronaut floating in space. We are. Uh, I think she has a name. Oh really? What's her name? I thought it was. Uh, I forget. I forget. I for some reason I thought she did, but I don't know. I don't. Maybe I'm just making that up. Maybe I, it's one of those things that I misheard from down the hall. And well, no, actually, wait a second. Stuck with me. Hold on, Austin. What's her name? Well, huh. <laughs> 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 I think for at least the yellow world, her name is Shelley. Right. Is is so each of the worlds is. Do you want to talk about this actually? No, you can talk about it. Okay. So each of the worlds is is based on on not just a poet but a specific poem, right? Uh, there are three right. worlds in in this in this build. There's Shelley. I'm assuming that's this one. There is. Yes, the yellow world is Shelley. It's based on it's based on uh, Ozymandias, I think. I'm pretty sure. There's this kind of like peach-colored world. Um, do you know who this is? I. I... Uh, uh, one second. Yes, I do. That is on Keats. That's okay. when I have fears uh, that I may cease to be. I quite like Keats. I quite, oh no, I quite like that poem. Um, mm -hmm. And then we have this kind of library book-flavored one. <laughs> um, I think that one is Byron. I think. Mm. I'm not 100% sure. So, uh, you've already played this once, haven't you, Austin? I have, but I feel like what we should do is go to World 1, and you should write... You should go through World 1 um, and write your story, and then afterwards we'll we'll load up mine and we can compare. Okay, yeah, if that's something that you sound, do. I think that that sounds fun, yeah. Are you sure that that... Is yeah. that not... 
No, no, I'm up for that. I I'm just worried that you, starting would, place. that you would feel a bit extraneous. No, no, not at all. I'm excited. Um, I'm sorry. There are also there's lots of there's lots of flexibility in what can be done here too. Uh, obviously, uh, you'll see. Um, I guess we haven't really introduced what the game is to some degree, right? It's very. It's kind of a difficult thing to describe. Gonna be it's a game about writing prompts. Is is what it is, and, yeah. and it, I think it understands the word prompt in a very broad way. Um, um, so let's let's go to the yellow world and start. So, yeah, and start there. two slightly dull mechanical things. That I'm going to quickly point out the frame rate is a little wonky uh, because the build is obviously unoptimized um, mm -hmm. at this stage. Uh, and also, there's going to be a lot of typing in this stream, so please, I'm I'm not the quietest typer in history, but we're <laughs> <laughs> that is true. So I can go write a new story, resume writing, read stories where I can read Austin's. Right, we'll do that afterwards, after yeah, we do yeah, yours. Yeah. Which uh, did you do? I did... Wait. Neither of these were mine. Go back. Oh, have we got the wrong planet? Duh. No, this is right. Hit write a new story. Duh. <laughs> huh. I must have said story. Yeah, I think. It's up to you. I, uh, yeah. But I, those weren't my options, I don't think. Unless there's another set of options after this. Duh. Nope. No. <laughs> I had a different I had a different set of prompts. Oh man. Whoa. But this is This game is gorgeous. Uh, would you let me know if it's a little too if it's a little too loud? Um, and I can just Sure. I can make it quiet. Um, so we got these sort of So you move with Wazda or with your Oh wow, keys. I can yeah, I can jump. Uh, and then go to that that feather. So the feathers in scenes are things where things where you write. The thing is, yes, but there are also you can also just hit tab wherever you want to add additional things. I can't. Uh, give it some time. You might be able to. Maybe it's after. It might uh, be after you're done the fourteen. I'm not one hundred percent sure. Um. I'm just gonna make my cast. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. My my prompt was much less developed than this, which is interesting. Did you, did you, are you sure you didn't click, like, start with a blank slate? I'm certain I... Mm, there, there, were, there were prompt words, for sure. Maybe I picked poem by mistake and didn't realize it. Anyway, I it's fine. Yeah. Let's, let's right. continue. 50,000 years ago, long before... This land was home to a great people. Um, so already, like, my first reaction is sort of there's some sort of weird excavation going on in the background. Those things look like hydraulic diggers, except they're a lot more. They don't seem to have a bucket. They're right. strange teas. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm probably going to go with something. You can't say the erasure. I'm actually going to go for this. Hmm, sure. Chatham? What what made you say eruption here? What was the big Well, it was a combination of the sky, but it's this there's these ashes yeah. in the foreground. Um, sure, sure. That I think Oh, this is really nice. This is really good. I I'm starting to appreciate this as a piece of game design. Um in that what I regard, didn't can you not really talk about it yet because it involves your uh, thing. Uh, no, is, I think is this is your fair. I think no, unique no. as a result of that's part of it, but just in terms of, okay, being able to give you prompts based on audiovisual clues, based on the text that's already there, but also limiting you, right, being able to, to fold, unfold a bit of a story as you move linearly from left to right across the space um, is really an interesting, it's really interesting so, mm. for now, that's all set. Okay. Ah. <laughs> they covered their planet with <laughs> ah. I want to get back. Uh, no, you no, can no. Go back in. You can go. Okay. I, I wanted to just. I check. It was like long ago, when this planet <laughs> there was a great people. Uh, long ago, before the eruption, this planet was essentially populated by a great people. Yeah. I also think that it's an interesting design decision to not let you just immediately flip between each of these things. So that was originally they covered their planet with. So yeah. yeah. You can just go. And again, you can you can. 
completely demolish yeah, yeah, the yeah. writing prompt if you want, which is interesting too. I covered that planet. <laughs> okay. Um, they covered that planet with with. with richness and with minerals and created the first great mining worlds. I like this a lot. I like that they're they're not finding these minerals here. No, they, they put them there. Um, right. And then <laughs> turn them into mining worlds. Yeah. Like, what's that process like? Is it is it is it like you inject the minerals into the world and then you still have to go and dig them up? Like, are they are what's, they? Um, what's the word I'm looking for when when something is pregnant? Um, uh, like incubating inside of the planet, oh, waiting the planet to be dug was a lot up. Smaller when they found it. I see. So they built the minerals on top. Uh, they wrapped. They wrapped them. They wrapped the Interesting. planet. In minerals. Okay. I love the way these 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 circles I, are. Here. Go ahead. Uh, the uh, circles go into the other circles. As you. Mm -hmm. I almost started describing the the detail for the podcast listeners, and then I realized this wasn't a <laughs> podcast. We weren't recording a podcast. <laughs> Oh, this is a really great prompt because it's it's <laughs> in its current mm -hmm. shape. It's not even a sentence. Um, nope. This is one of the things I like about this is that normally there is a uh, normally in games there is a, a very sharp um, digital binary division between what the game can ask you to do and what it can't. Which is to say, it can ask you to move in a direction, or jump over a thing, or you know, do a traversal, perform one of your actions, etc. Here, there's a lot of middle ground between. There's a lot of there's a lot of variation in what it can ask you to do. It can ask you to fill in a verb, or it can ask you to fill in a verb phrase, or it can ask you to fill in a whole sentence. Um, yeah. And that's really great. And that's just verbs, right? Like we could also talk about a million other things. I like your, I like the the repetition of uh, the kind of conjoined nouns there, yeah. and then the conjoined verbs. I think that I, it's almost like a theme park at the stage, but it's super. It's what are these big T's that are hanging around? Good question. Oh, I know what they are. <laughs> they're the they're the they're the broken down logos of the mining corporation. What we're seeing is essentially the ruins of a mining theme park or something. Okay. <laughs> um, and, and so these are the you got some graffiti here. Mm -hmm. You know, BuzzFeed post top 10 best deserted theme parks. <laughs> For millennia. <laughs> um. It's a sand pit. They're just playing in a sand right. pit. Mm -hmm. I like, I like that though because it's still, uh, you're still rendering that as industriousness, which which doesn't undo yeah. that they're playing in a sand pit, but it brings into question this, sort of this a idea. Fake industriousness. Right, or 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 it adds the character of industriousness to kids playing in a sand pit. Yeah, absolutely. Which isn't a way we normally think of that sort of play. Somebody in the chat earlier was talking about how um, the movement doesn't feel particularly weighty yet. Yeah, it'd be really good if, if there was a, if yeah. just a bit more sort of a, a bit more weight. Mm -hmm. to that. I can I can agree with that. Oh man! I think the walking feels weighty because it's slow and lumbering a little, and I like that a lot. Oh boy, this art is gorgeous. It so is. It so is. Oh, I've been cut off. Oh no, I haven't. Oh really? I haven't. No, oh, I haven't. Okay. I haven't. 
Uh, the prompt was cut off, but I could just move. I could right, just right, right. Weird. Umbrella in the chat says that she's been watching for three minutes and also got the Friends at the Table GM prompt vibe from me. <laughs> New Friends at the Table should be up as we speak, by the way. It's fun. I was listening to it earlier. Um, Let's get this. All right. Interesting is the other group, I'll get the chance to listen to it. They have not heard yeah, this bit I'm at really all yet. Yeah, I'm really excited to, to hear um, Ice, uh, Team Ice. Yeah. So yeah, I want this kind of image. I want a really so there's been lots of stuff about industry and I want a really theme park image. Okay. Like people losing something or or, or um how is in what way do theme parks con the idea of loss to you? Uh because there's a sort of detritus that emerges when loads and loads of people who are really excited about something all get into mm -hmm. the same place. I think it's very mm -hmm. easy for the, when fumbling for your ticket, for the right, keys to fall right. out of your back pocket or something. Right, right. Um, no, I think what I'm going to go for is, I think I'm going to go for <laughs> buying picture postcards. Mm. Sure. Um, That's a classic. Yeah. yeah. Besides, <laughs> what did this place like that look like when there was a picture postcard of it? Right. Well, I like this as like an entryway into a space, right? Yeah. Like I can see the lines. It's the almost cues. got that sort of Ellis Island mm -hmm. vibe to it. But mm -hmm. for, uh, and again, the T here, the the, 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 the the mining corporation. Right. I mean, obviously, if the question is, well, why are they having it as a theme park rather than actually mining it for real materials? The answer is they don't need real materials anymore. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe because of this. I don't know. <laughs> what is this? The, I will say that the prompt that you got there was well different than this, than what I, than what I got. Oh, really? Yeah. This might be a bit loud. It is. No problem. The previous prompt that I had gestured forward to this to this scene. Oh, um, interesting. It appeared in such a place that the orbs that are that are circling around this thing, or the circles that are orbiting around this thing, uh, were just off, like just peeking onto oh. my screen, and the prompt gestured towards them. It was something like, like. Uh, you know, being on the edge of a thing or, or being able to see something in the distance. Oh man, I'm like really excited to see what you think. Is. Something that they talk a lot about on Shut Up and Sit Down, oh, which is a really, really great board game review site, mm -hmm. is um, this idea of games moving into, especially board games, moving into second phases that are right. that just change the whole shape of the thing. And I'm beginning mm -hmm. to get a sensation that sharing the stories is the second phase rather than just some little bolt on thing. I hope so. I, I think it requires a bit of an engagement and investment that I hope that this game attracts to begin with, mm -hmm. but but it does require that, so. Yes. in the chat says, can we please just start calling those second phases yogs? Can we make that happen? <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. 
That reads to me, have we talked Cloud Atlas before? Yeah, uh, I don't think we have. No. Okay, that that reads to me like something out of Neosocopros, the the uh, the Horizon of Somni 495 chapter. Yeah. Um, specifically the name, like that, that, um, that, so what's that the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, that sort of syntax and also that sort of um, noun, mm-hmm. uh, proper noun, st- 